All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the bones that make up the cranium. There's eight total bones in the cranium. The first one we talk about is the frontal bone. It's right there at the front, as you can see. And it makes up your forehead. It makes up the roof or the top of your nasal cavity, the roof or the top of the orbits. It contains the frontal sinuses, and it's connected through the, to the coronal, through the coronal suture to the parietal bones and the nasal suture through to the nasal bones. The next bone is the parietal bone, and there's two of those. There's a left and a right, and they make up the side walls of the cranium and the roof of the cranium, and they're connected together to each other by the sagittal suture. Next, we have the occipital bone, which is the purple colored bone you can see in the picture there. It's the back of the skull, the base of the cranium. Uh, it contains a large opening through which the spinal cord connects to the brainstem called the foramen magnum. And it also, it's connected to the temporal bones, the lambdoid suture. Temporal bones are on each side of the skull. There's a right and left temporal bone. They make the side walls of the cranium, the floor of the cranium, the floor and sides of the orbits. Uh, they contain the external acoustic meatus, which is the opening or pathway through the bone uh, where the ear canal would be located. And they're connected to the parietal bones through the squamous suture. Next we have the two irregular bones. The rest of the bones in the cranium are flat bones, but there's two irregular bones that are in the cranium, the sphenoid bone, which looks kind of like a bat if you looked at the top view, or a butterfly if you look at the, the bottom view. It makes up the base of the cranium, the sides of the skull, the floor and sides of the orbit, and it contains the sphenoidal sinuses. And finally, you have the ethmoid bone, which makes up the roof and the walls of the nasal cavity, the floors of the cranium, the walls of the orbit, uh, forms two ridges that project in the nasal cavity, the superior middle nasal conchae, and it contains the ethmoidal sinuses. So the joints between the cranial bones and some of the facial bones um, are the following. The nasal sutures between the two nasal bones, the frontal suture between the frontal and nasal bones, the coronal suture between the frontal and parietal bones, the sagittal suture that connects the two parietal bones, lambdoid, or lambdoidal between the two the parietal and occipital bones, and the squamous suture located between the parietal and the temporal bones. And the last thing we need to talk about are the paranasal sinuses. So the paranasal sinuses are mucus lined cavities that communicate or connect with the nasal cavity, and they're found in four different bones of the, the head the frontal bone, ethmoid, and sphenoid bone, which are all cranial bones, and then the maxillary bone, the upper jaw bone, which is one of the facial bones. So these are there to help lighten the skull and make the, the head weigh less because there are empty spaces within the bone. They also act as resonating chambers for speech, kind of like a speaker box does. And so when you have a, a head cold, a sinus infection, or something like that, your speech doesn't sound just different to you, but it sounds different to everybody else because it's kind of like if you took a, a towel or a blanket and shoved it inside that speaker box, it wouldn't vibrate the same way and wouldn't sound the same. 